Right, hello. Welcome to the video, guys. Hey, it's Psycho. Bring today a video on the division. So, <clears throat> this is about the global event uh, and how to get some credits fast for the global event and also what you should get and what you shouldn't. So, <clears throat> for starters, global event credits by just doing missions, high value targets. Uh, the daily missions, which is also uh, daily global events. Uh, well, well, no, just global events. No, not daily. Sorry. Uh, you can get have increased amount of credits you can get for it, and you can also put on special modifiers as well, which are shown here. You got the standard ambush. They deal increased damage. Um, you can deal increased damage while stationary. You've got covert, covert. Sorry, uh, ambush uh, plus health. Diminishes once damage buff expires, uh, which is the one above your health bar whenever you're in combat. Uh, if, it, if it's full up, that means you can do plus plus damage, which I think is like maybe times two, I'm not too sure. And when it completely goes, you start taking damage, or if you're near another agent, they start taking damage, which is the strategic ambush. Next up, with the credits, you can buy caches, so 1,500 and 900. I would advise not getting the 900 one because it's only a high end or maybe a gear piece, uh, the green one. Uh, I would definitely recommend getting the 1500, 1500 to, because you not only do you get a green gear set piece and more than likely near enough 100, probably like 90% chance of getting an exotic, you can also maybe get a, a, a classified gear set item as well. So. On that note as well, what I'm also going to show from the global event is appearance. So you can get the cage mask and the bug mask, which I much, and there's also haze as well, but I haven't got that one yet. Uh, I much prefer the cage out of all of them, I don't really like the other, the other two. Which you can do by, so if you if you want the one that I've, I'm wearing now, cage, which uh, for me looks the nicest. You have to kill 100 enemies, and then on stage 2 you have to kill uh, 200 enemies, and stage 3 uh, will make it 400 enemies, and in stage 4 apparently you do just get the mask straight up. So, yeah, uh, you have to do that all while standing still, so you can't move the left joystick or AWSD keys if you're using the keyboard. I am on PC, by the way, at the moment, but I'm just using an Xbox controller, because I find it much easier to move around and use medkit. Not to aim, though, I'm terrible at aiming with a controller. But yeah, anyway, that's that. You have to just stand still and get kills uh, on hard difficulty or above for missions. You've got motion blur, kill 30 enemies for the stage 1. Stage 2 then goes up to 60 and then, uh, I'm pretty sure it's 60 at least, or maybe even 70. And then stage 3 will go up to 100 and then of course stage 4 you get the mask bug with a key fragment. And all you have to do is just kill the enemies while moving around on hard difficulty or above. Pretty simple way of just doing the missions. The other one that I haven't got yet, and I don't really frankly care about getting, is kill 30 enemies while near uh, an ally in strategic ambush. Uh, am ambush. I, I cannot talk today. I do apologize for that. Um, yeah, that basically means that the, it's the one that, if you're near a teammate, it damages their health. So, if I'm, say, standing next to my mate, yeah, it would take it would keep taking his health, but giving me health and giving me buff. Yeah, yeah it's, I, I'm not too sure how it works. Basically, you, basically, you just take each other's health by standing next to each other. You've got to kill 30 enemies while, while with that on. This made it sound so confusing because I'm a retard most of the time. Anyway, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on with the uh, video. So the the best, best way to farm GE credits is obviously if you've got a, got a good squad or you're a, best, you're a really good solo player. Would recommend doing something like legendary warring gate or time square power plant because napalm's just ridiculous for how much you have to do just to get those credits or an exotic cache. Uh, so do legendary on one of them. You can get one thousand five hundred seventy-five uh, GE credits. Plus also what enemies drop because enemies do drop like twenty to thirty, especially the, the named boss enemies. They they always drop them. So you can get an extra bonus. So you could say maybe like one thousand seven hundred. You could possibly get out of that, which is pretty pretty decent because you can buy a Superior cache straight up front. Uh, you can also do an incursion on heroic for 900. Not that much. It's pretty crappy to be honest. That is. Uh, or you can do for 750. 
credits and also pick them up off the name bosses as well you can do a challenging mission the challenging one i was gonna i'm gonna run for it i was doing a lexington in event center but i kept messing up at the end for some reason i don't know how uh it's because i got a really squishy build at the moment uh and also because i've had to record this like three or four times already it's gone wrong so i'm gonna do lincoln tunnel checkpoint instead because i've got kind of a new build it's, it's really really squishy I, they just melt my health away uh, I, I deal quite a bit of damage but it's not the best. So, uh, it's, 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 it's named Tank because it was actually my Nomad build and I had like 600,000 toughness. But I reduced all the toughness to get some more. Well, I reduced like, I think it was like 130,000 toughness to get like an extra, uh, I think it was like two and a half, 2,000 firearms. So, I, and I've taken away like four or 500 stamina to get some more firearms on top of that as well. Anyway, I'm going to be using the. Uh, Urban MDR, which I have optimized because it was a 268, it's now a 284, and also it was at like 29k damage, it's now 46.5k. It was swift, reloading is 25% faster, damage is increased by 10% uh, when closer when, when closer than 10 meters from the target, and also distracted, your damage is increased by 18% against the targets of status effects. For gear itself, I am using two Lone Star pieces, which is a vest and gloves, for 100% more ammo capacity, so I don't actually have to keep wasting time picking up ammo. Uh, I've got Pharaoh's Oxygen Mask, so I can sprint and shoot my weapon while burning, because I don't really need the third Lone Star. I don't need a fourth Striker, because Striker's fourth ability isn't really that good for me. But I've got three Strikers on, which is plus 20% stability, and also plus 10% enemy armor damage, which is really actually helpful, especially playing solo. But uh, the ability for Pharaoh's Oxygen Mask for sprinting and shooting while I'm burning, if I burn myself or if an enemy burns me like a cleaner, it's actually really, really handy. But yeah, anyway, I am actually going to get the video. So, and also, if you want to pause the video to see all my toughness and DPS, all that, just, just uh, do it now. I will leave it on there for a second. Like that. Alright, so... <clears throat> We're going to be running for this Captain on challenge and solo. Probably going to die. Because <laughs> I am actually... This, this build is really squishy. I don't fully understand this game still. Like, even when I have like 600,000 toughness, I die just as fast as I do now with like 400 and some 1,000. It's... Honestly, I don't understand it, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's the game, so... Like I said, this build is very, very squishy. It's, uh, <laughs> they, they do melt my health so fast. It's, it does get kind of frustrating, and I don't actually, I don't know if I actually did fully stock up on med kits because I'm all down to one. I think I even use that many. I didn't use that by the way. When you're playing solo, recovery link automatically gets recovered just in case you guys don't know that. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I would have actually just willingly gone down right then and let the box get me, but it decided to automatically pop the uh, recovery. So. Apparently, the snipers are dead. Okay. So I'm not the best player at the division, and I've definitely not got the best build to be solo running right now. 
actually very, very bad, but hopefully, just hopefully maybe this video is a little bit helpful, or if not funny about how bad I am at the game. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> A little white bar above my health is the global event uh, damage boost. As you see, it just went full, so I get plus plus damage. That also helps me deal extra damage to enemies. So staying still as long as possible is usually the best option, which also helps get the cage mask that I'm wearing now. So I'll probably have to let myself go down, but apparently they just down me anyway. I just pushed his body all the way to the left for some reason. <laughs> Don't really need to actually restock, but I'm just gonna. If it was the blue box, then yeah, I would, because I could get med kits and all that back, but. Warning. Hostiles inbound on your position. You should have the worst I did. I'm back down here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. That I feel like dying because I'm super squishy. <laughs> I was soloing this earlier, uh, and also if you do it in a group as well, it gets kind of like really, really frustrating fast. Is if you wait at the very top over here, like where that orange barrier is that you jump over, 
you wait up there sometimes and most of the time it actually just does it i don't know why uh even if you let no one pass it says that she's being attacked and if you don't go back to her in time then it just it makes you fail the mission so i restart from the checkpoint no idea why because like you literally just run down there there's no one even there and she just stopped getting attacked it's, it just works really weird Like the green bar will just like go down really, really fast. Give me another 10 seconds. Also, uh, holding A to do the cover to cover. Or space or X, whatever it is, whatever you're playing on, uh, doesn't actually use up the, the damage bonus. Like if you look at that white bar, it doesn't deplete it when I'm doing the cover to cover. As long as you're on cover, you should be good. Damn it, that was too close. They don't care who they kill to get what they want. Come on up. And I'll meet you in the control center. I don't know exactly how long this video is going to take to upload. It might take quite a while because I've put it up to uh, impeccable quality. Which is a very large file size, so that way you can get like maximum quality out of my video. Because if I uh, decide on high quality, for some reason, it actually still looked really horrible. Jeez. Still looked like really pixely. Which is why I also done it again, as well as also screwing up a lot. Which I have screwed up a lot on this one, but I'm not going to retake it. Because, uh, yeah, I can't be asked to do it again. <laughs> and also it doesn't matter, because like, you know, it's raw footage. So. I suppose raw footage is better, rather than like just keep redoing it till you get perfect like scripted. I don't know. <laughs> Damn accuracy, damn it. <laughs> Nearly got me killed. But yeah. <clears throat> Put my box down purposely for that. So I can go down without having... Hopefully this video will be uploaded Agent by the end of the 24th January, so. I didn't want to do a video last night when it first came out, but I was so tired. I barely like got like five hours sleep and then I was like, you know, let's stream it. I streamed it for like an hour and I was like super tired still. I just ended up playing with some mates for like the whole night and yeah, I've actually not slept yet. Just I was like, I'll get on to check the global events out because it would just seem like really awesome. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't got off the game yet since. So. This mission is going to be like one of the, the worst ones to do because, like, my build, because, like, they're going to meet. One shot me constantly down to real health. Snipers.
Oh, I have a recovery in turn. Okay. I didn't think I had it, Agent, but apparently did. did. Yeah, that's you how you get 750. You and also, I just picked up 38. You can get like 30 to 40, maybe even occasionally like 50 some of picking up the end um, of the name bosses. So it's pretty cool. Got me some extra. Of that. that means I now have a total of 1,120, which means I can then just go farm on another mission. Just do, just do like one mission on that and Challenging again and buy another. Ashe. I was actually just reading. Really... Yeah. So, anyway, I uh, uh, can buy another period cache if I uh, do another mission. And that's literally how that's, that's literally how most of the night since this global event is released just been farming. Just doing these kind of missions, doing legendary. Legendary is a lot more annoying though because, like, yeah, you can get like one whole cache out of it, but. If you get something bad, like I got the Thompson twice in a row, it's just kind of makes you think like, Ugh, is it worth all the farming? Is it really worth it? Just farming out legendary missions and like that really, really horrible restarts and shit because it's just just to get a, just to get one cache, what one cache. But yeah, that's 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 literally how I farmed and my mates farmed as well. We done it together most of the night and. That's how I would advise doing it. Just do that. I think you can do the underground as well. Uh, for it, I think underground does count. So, uh, yeah. I guess thank you guys for watching the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been helpful, or if not, then fun to watch. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I ain't the best division player. I ain't the best player about. I'm pretty shit at most of the games I play lately because I'm just really fucking bad at games now. I used to be quite good, but I'm just really shit. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you didn't and you want to leave a dislike, then go ahead. I don't really mind. Just at least leave a comment why you didn't like the video. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.